Hey, hey everybody, it's Vimes. Um, so this is a weird one. I just finished Evangelion 3 point, or 3 plus 1, uh, thrice something, or thrice upon a time. And I just had to make this video because it just, it really, really, like, spoke to me. Like, it absolutely shook me to my core. Um, I'm just gonna start out and say that Ava 3. Point, or 3 plus 1 is quite literally one of the best pieces of media I've ever experienced. And I hope that everyone in their life at some point gets to experience something like what I have experienced. Uh, but uh, to give a backstory before I go on to that. Oh, but this isn't like a review or anything. It's it, It's more along the lines of how this movie has made me felt and why I think it's important that not necessarily need to see this movie but people need to go and try to experience something similar to this so it, it's a bit of a backstory before we get to that uh, I remember watching the original Neon Genesis Evangelion when I was a young teenager I uh, only, only at, at the time, I only thought it was a mecha anime with, you know, skin tight suits on cute anime bots. But from, from it, however, was a confrontation of the sadness that I felt as a child and as a teenager. Seeing Shinji as being a unwilling self insert into the metaphorical representation of the events that were happening into my life. You know, literally, there wasn't angels attacking. Tokyo and I wasn't literally piloting a giant mech but at the time the, la the loneliness I felt as a child felt like that uh, the original series captures what it really felt to be lonely and to know that there's nothing you can do about it because you're just a stupid kid like what, what the fuck could you do even the series ending captures the abrupt end with a hollow happiness that came with it. The whole congratulations, but like, why are you congratulating me? It's like someone telling you to be ha like, stop being sad, just be happy. It's uh, pointless, worthless. It, it just feels bad, man. And as I grew into a, an older teenager, uh, trying to barricade my emotions with facts and logic. While I never truly swung that far into depression, much in my life felt down and empty. Then came the end of the Evangelion, whose lesson was a bitter one: to accept that life's pain, to accept life's pain and own failure, to endure the pain because it was better than death. A rock bottom feeling. Not a great happiness, but where I could sit down and see how hurt I was. And then, rather than conjuring a fantasy life to live in in order to protect myself, you needed to take the pain in, because that's all you can do. To suffer was part of what made you human. While this didn't really give me happiness, it gave me comfort, knowing that no matter how much I hurt, I can move forward so long as I live, and so long as I felt. Now, we come to re the rebuilds, you know, 1.0 to 3.0, or 3.33, whatever the hell it is. So much has changed since... Or so much has changed with myself along with Ava. I grew into an older man. Or I grew into an adult. And I knew I could no longer blame the world for my failing. And I needed to be an agent of my own design. I needed to, you know, do what I felt would make me happy. But much like Shinji, my actions caused much harm. And no one but myself was at fault. I couldn't blame anything but myself <laughs> and how could anyone feel but nothing uh, how could anyone feel anything but hatred and sadness for themselves i mean i know i did in fact much of the world that i see and interact 
with has this problem. We hate ourselves. We strive to dull our senses. We escaped our emo own emotions. People try to forcefully change the world to grant their wishes for happiness or withdrawal from life itself. Both ends reach the same self-imposed prison of the heart. Now, this is where 3 plus 1 comes in. This movie is literally the perfect ending to the Ava series and a powerful piece of me and the most powerful piece of media I've ever experienced. It takes all the lessons that have been built over the last over the 26 years that the Evangelion series has been going and realizes them in the healthiest way possible. No more being a child who suffers from their own powerlessness. No more being a young adult who hates the world and wishes for a utopia. No more a man who is immobilized by their own failures and hates self-hatred. The growth that Shinji accomplishes truly reflects humanity's hope, where we, well, mostly I, understand that the only way forward is to let your emotions run free. To run free. To accept that loss and pain will happen because your heart is laid bare. You can never escape the harm that you cause, but instead do all that you can to make amends. And accept that sometimes that's never going to be enough either. To have the intelligence to know that you are someone that can change. To love yourself and therefore to love others. So much of the misery in life, in my life, has come from not accepting that the world isn't perfect, that I'm not perfect. That having imperfect love is still love. This movie really laid that bare for me. This is truly a neogenesis. I will fail. I will suffer. But I know what needs to be done. And I thank you for this movie and this chance to do what I can. Uh, I know this is kind of really a, an emotional type thing, and, and I kind of apologize, but not really, because if, as what I've been trying to say is that it really tugs on my emotions, because it it truly is a very human experience. No other media has ever really done that. Some have gone close, like, you know, books I've read and whatnot, but no one, no movie has really, truly moved me as this has. And, the, like, the happiness that I felt that the mo when the movie ended. And from this, I, I kind of want to say that... Uh, I'm going to try and do the VTubing thing. Not like I'm not going to change something super seriously, super f or quickly, but I want to instead maybe try to impress that upon people because I've been more guarded with my emotions on stream and with uh, content creation than I probably should be. I mean, I'm a VTuber for God's sakes. I can do what literally what I want. And I want to express my happiness and my emotions more clearly from now on. And I hope that it gets to y'all. Uh, that's it. That's the video. That's uh, Evangelion 3 plus 1. You should go see it. It's a really good fucking movie. Uh, you should go see the whole rebuilt. You can watch the whole original series, everything. Go watch it all. And... Uh, I'll, I'm sorry for not posting more stuff on YouTube, it's just, I, I don't, haven't had the time, haven't had the energy, haven't had all that. I promise that I will try to do better. But thank you for uh, listening to my rambling and my, not review of 3.1, but a um, love letter to it, because it's a really amazing experience that I hope everyone could have in some way or form. Anyway, this is Vimes. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.